Hey guys, and welcome back to Headway TV, and this is Storytime with Miss Sade. Today's story is from the Five Minute Tales Stories for Boys by Igloo Books, and we're reading the story Captain Percy. Let's get started. Captain Black Bear was the captain of the pirate ship, the Black Claw. He was fierce and mean. He hoarded the treasure that the pirates stole and made them work very hard on the ship. They had to scrub the deck, make his food, and hoist the heavy mainsail. Captain Black Bear, however, never did any of the work himself. The captain's parrot, Percy, was just as unhappy as the crew. All day long, he sat on the master's shoulder. If he as much as squawked, he was told to be quiet. Captain Black Bear never lets me do anything, he muttered quietly to himself. If only he would have another captain. We need someone clever and adventurous, someone like me. Percy thought and thought until he came up with a plan. He waited until Black Bear wasn't looking, then stole the key to the treasure room. Later on, when the captain was inspecting his treasure, Percy grabbed Black Bear's hat and his long cutlass. He squawked as loudly as he could and flapped out the door. What are you doing, you feathered fool, roared Black Bear. Percy just squawked and slammed the door, then locked behind him, locked it behind him. The fearsome captain was trapped. Percy quickly flew up on the deck and called to the crew, At last we are free of Captain Black Bear, he squawked. Captain Black Bear is a traitor, squawked Percy, so all the pirates could hear. He sailed away in the night, mates. Now I'm the captain of the ship. Now, Percy doesn't seem like he was being very honest. The crew were very happy. The villain has gone, they cried. Captain Percy and the crew celebrated with a very merry party. They ate all the food and drank all the coconut juice. No one did any work for two whole days. Life without Captain Black Bear was lots of fun. Nobody did any repairs to the ship. They ate and drank as much as they wanted. They didn't even bother to steer the ship. It was great fun doing what they liked. Everyone just had a brilliant, lazy time. Now, if no one was staring, where were they going? Soon, however, the food ran out and the crew were lost in the middle of the ocean. To make things worse, the ship was in such bad shape that water was beginning to leak into it. Oh no! It's all that parrot's fault, the crew cried. It's time we got rid of Captain Percy. Oh, now they're not on his side. They tied up Percy and made him walk the plank. Wait, cried Percy. Captain Black Bear didn't really sail away. He's locked in the treasure room. The pirates rushed down to the treasure room and broke the door in. There was Captain Black Bear looking very sorry for himself. All he'd had to eat for days were dry, crumbly chips biscuits. The crew were so glad to see their old captain. They all cheered, but when Captain Black Bear saw the mess on the deck, he was very angry. Back to work, boys, he cried. There's lots to do. Instead of complaining, the pirates rushed back to work. They repaired the leaky hull, steered the ship safely, and stopped eating and drinking so much. Even Captain Black Bear was happy when he saw how hard they were working. The pirates were happy too. As for Percy, Captain Black Bear made him scrub the decks until they shone. Percy didn't mind though. I'd rather scrub planks than walk off them. <laughs> he laughed. At last, everyone on board the Black Claw was happy. Well, that is it for our story today. We will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.